Hello, welcome to the behind the scenes of the Gloria video by For the Midnight. Uh, I figured I'd give a little explanation as to how we made this video because it was kind of complicated, um, sort of, in a way, I guess. Well, actually, it's not very complicated. It was really just one shot. I jumped in and out of the car. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So what I did was I found this desert road um, on the internet by searching desert roads that are good to film on and someone met, mentioned the Kill Bill Church was on a long desert road and uh, I went to the Kill Bill Church and it was definitely a desert road but I kept driving farther to get, I needed something that was really empty um, and barren. I didn't, I don't want any telephone poles, no mile markers, nothing. It just needed to be sand and cement, uh, no guardrail or anything. I just wanted it real, real empty. And uh, I went up to the Kill Bill Church and it's an hour and a half from here, it's out in Palmdale and uh, I just kept driving and I found this spot and it was great. It's perfect. Uh, I went out there like three times and every time I'd go out there I'd just sit in the middle of the road and no cars would come by for hours. It was awesome. So I figured this would be a good spot to do it and we won't get bothered. So I went out there and checked it myself and then I went back with Eva, the producer of this video, and we scouted it out and I did a test. I just filmed Eva's car driving and I put text on the screen of like everything that will happen camera wise and I showed this to the DP Aaron uh, and then I went back with Eva and Aaron after Aaron saw this he wanted to go see it himself so we went back and we did another test with him filming Eva driving and then after that we talked about all the moves we needed to do the push-ins and when I would jump out of the car we figured it all out out there and I made another video where it was just the text popping up on screen when, the, when it needed to happen. And I added beeps before every camera move, so it would beep five times, and then on the fifth one is when the camera should be on the next thing, so those were audio markers for us to listen to. As we played the song, uh, everyone would know when the next move was coming, if, when you heard the beeps. So it was basically just a way for us to memorize the camera moves, well, for Aaron and his team to memorize the camera moves, and well, everyone had to have the whole thing memorized and in sync. And uh, so it, everyone was like working together in this big choreography because I needed to, couldn't jump out of my seat until we were tight enough on Phoebe so you wouldn't see me get out of my seat. And then I needed to get around behind the car. They wouldn't, it just couldn't expose anything. So this whole video was just one straight shot. And I had to like wait for Aaron to be like, Nathan, go. And I had to jump out and get around. It's like, Nathan, come back. So it's like, it was all yelling. Everyone was yelling different things at the same time. You had to know who to listen for. Um, uh, and a problem that we ran into when we did this was I was just hoping and assuming this car would drive straight the whole time because it, it was going so slow. We're going like three miles an hour. I just put it in first gear and then I pulled the e-brake up a little bit so it would slow the car down just enough or it wouldn't stall out the car. Uh, the, the steer alignment's pretty good. I thought it would just go straight, but it wasn't going straight enough because every time we'd hit a crack, it would turn the wheels and the car would start veering off the road and Phoebe would just drive off into the desert. So what we had to do was put my brother, Seth, in the shotgun seat and he had to hide on the floor and just reach over with his hand and steer the car. And there was a girl on a walkie-talkie, one of the PAs was walking in front of the car behind the camera. And when, the car, when I wasn't in the car and the car was driving itself and it would start to veer, she would yell, or she would say in the mic, left, left, and Seth would go left, and she'd go left, straight, right. She'd have to keep just guiding him, because Seth was going blind. He was just steering the wheel, hoping he was in the lane. And then when I'd come jump back in the car, I'd grab the wheel. So at one point, you can see when it's just Phoebe in the car, you can see the steering wheel turn itself, and that's because Seth's hands on the bottom turning it. So that's how we made the car go straight, even though it's going super slow. But uh, if it was going a lot faster, it would have been harder. Now, I'm just gonna let this play. I'll show you uh, the entire video shot from behind the scenes, um, how it was made. So, enjoy. I'm so aware that I lose my mind and I feel like a kid. 